when you see ladies walking with skirt just take a look and then you will see that sometimes the skirts are too long in the back or too short in the back or too long in the front or too short in the front and that is how you can see that someone has used just one measurement for the skirt and mostly it will be the side measurement hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial of the love of sewing and craft my name is sandy senpai and today i will show you how to take measurements on your clients if we want to make garments we need to take the measurement so we have a good fitting today i'll show you how to take measurements on your client and for demonstrational purposes i will use a half scale dress form before we start taking measurements make sure you have an accurate line in the waist of your client and to ensure that you can make a band out of fabric that you can tie in the waist of your client my dress form also have a bent in the waist so I don't have to do that right now the first measurement we need is the high bust that means is the highest part of the bust make sure you take it from the back to the front this is the high bust the next measurement is the full bust that means we have to take the measurement on the fullest part of the bust. Make sure you keep one finger in between. Then we need the chest length and that is from the neck until the waist. Next is the chest width and that is from one arm to the next the next thing is the waist length and that is from the middle of the shoulder over the bust until you reach the waist the next measurement is the shoulder width is from the neckline until the end of the shoulder the next measurement is the bust high that is from the middle of the shoulder until the tip of the bust. The next measurement is the bust distance. That is the tip of one bust to the tip of the other bust. And while measuring this, make sure you don't touch your client inappropriate. The next measurement is the neck width that's around the neck with one finger in between the next measurement you want to take is the arm width and the arm width is how wide how wide your client's arm is and make sure you take good measurements because sometimes you have people with two different arm widths maybe the left is bigger than the right or the right is bigger than the left in such cases we will use the one with the widest width the next thing we need to measure is how wide your client want the sleeves to be so you can try to measure it for your client and ask them if they're happy with your chosen width the next measurement we need is the back length and the back length is from the neck until the waist then we need the side length you may measure it but standard the side length is half of the back length so the measurement you took here you will divide it by two and that will be your side length the next thing is the waist you will measure the waist of your client and make sure that you keep one finger in between from back to front and make sure you have the smallest part of 
the waist. The next measurement we need are the hip width. Make sure you have the widest part of the hips and the fullest part of the butt and keep one finger in between. When you have the hip width, then you can find the hip height. You keep one finger where the widest part of the hip is and then measure, measure from the waist until the widest part of the hip. That is the hip height. The next measurement we need is one of the most important one. That's the skirt length. Mostly you see that people take just one measurement. They take the side length of the skirt. But it's not appropriate to take just one measurement. You'll need the front measurement, the side measurement, and the back measurement. Why do we need these? We need these because sometimes some ladies have a little belly, they have some hips, and they have some bum. And if you just take one measurement, and if the person has some butt or they have some belly, then you will see that the back of the skirt will be too short, or the front of the skirt will be too short, or the front is too long, or the sides are too short. So make sure you take all three measurements and make sure you draft your pattern to the size. When you see ladies walking with skirts, just take a look and then you will see that sometimes the skirts are too long in the back or too short in the back or too long in the front or too short in the front. And that is how you can see that someone has used just one measurement for the skirt and mostly is the side measurement. The next thing you will need is the sleeve length. You will take the sleeve length from where the shoulder end until where your client want the sleeve to be. If it's a long sleeve, then make sure your client put the arms in the side and start from the shoulder over the elbow onto the wrist. The next measurement is the wrist width. When we take the measurement for the wrist, we won't try to measure the wrist, but we will try to measure the widest part of the fist because it is the fist that goes through the sleeve. The next measurement we need is the under bust circumference, right underneath of the bust. And when we find that, then we can measure the under bust high from the middle of the shoulder till the under bust. These are standard measurements we need while drafting a pattern. But whenever you have drafted your pattern, then you need to make it fitted for your client. And to make it fitted, we will need some extra measurements. And these extra measurements are how deep the client want the garment to be open and that we will measure from the neck until the depth the client want. Sometimes it can be low or sometimes it can be high. The next length is your blouse length or your jacket length because if we draft a blouse pattern you cannot take the measurement until the waist. You have to take the measurement until the hip line or as long as your client want it. So you don't just take the waist length, you take the measurement from the middle of the shoulder over the bust until the length your client want. The next measurement is the height of the cup. Sometimes we make garments with a cup and then they want to know how 
high the cup will be from the middle of the shoulder until where the cup should begin and the last measurement we will take that is the dress length the dress length is from the middle of the shoulder over the bust until the length the client wants that's the way we take measurements for sewing thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to like and share this video subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon for notification you will be notified as soon as we post a new video thank you until next time bye